Happy day, all my friends. Let me down for a thousand coming to you. And we were you and I reviewing Land of the Dead, directed by George Romero. This is a sequel to the, the, the to George Romero's Of the Dead series. It's with films like, like Nine of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, and Dawn of the Dead. And here's the plot. Uh, humanity is basically basically led by, by an evil billionaire. Millionaire, millionaire and, and basically his friends thrive and everyone else else just survives as in scrap. But basically, basically, basically a former employee is wants revenge and is holding the city hostage, stitched stitch with, with a super tank. Meanwhile, you know, a bunch of zombies are being led by by one zombie who's, who's basically becoming more and more intelligent. And this thing actually reminds the series had is an interesting. Progression was always with, with guns, where the where like um the second movie had a zombie hold a gun where they weren't able to know how to use it though, the third movie had a zombie I mean, shoot a guy in the face, and this one has a zombie just flat out learning he's a machine gun and with these, he's he's like four movies, <laughs> we, used to, we used to get sorry for that sorry for that, um, but overall. Oh, this film is very overall over the top. Up, uh, it's got a lot of zombie gore, which is very nice. It's some somewhat, somewhat jaded, it and half-assed as societal commentary, or to some extent, if you think if you think about it, but not really any that much to make it get preachy. Overall, this film is very entertaining, and John Leguizamo was it was a good performance as the, as the terrorist holding the, the, the city hostage to the zombie apocalypse. Phillips and um, so does Dennis Hopper. He plays a good job playing the evil millionaire. I give this film dinosaur approval, and I give it roughly about I'm gonna give it about an 8.1 out of 10. That's really watching. I'm trying to see you later.